the thing that is trump talks about this a lot he says you know kamala harris became black right. when it was mm -hmm. convenient right yeah can you can you talk to me about do you feel do you agree with him on that do you feel oh, like she's wearing Definitely. her black absolutely she sworn into the when she sworn to the senate it was as the first indian american uh yeah she became black like trump said she became black what's going on this is the chris monroe show I'm going to be talking about uh, black people are being skeptical of Kamala Harris and not just Democrats, Republicans and independents as well. Um, this video here, um, these are GOP or Trump supporters, Republicans that are talking in this video and uh, they're really telling the truth. You know, a lot of times they get shamed for saying what they really think or what they really feel. And people want to act like, oh, you can't be a black Republican. But that's a whole other story. Let's see what they got to say on this video. What are your feelings? And I, let me start with the women here about Kamala Harris. She's a woman of color. I'm not putting her down because of that. And I'm not putting her down because she's a woman. I'm not a feminist, so I'm sorry. But at the end of the day, I don't think that she has the personality. I don't think that she has what it takes to go up against Putin and go up against these other presidents that are built for this. I don't want to be scared because my president is scared. I want my president to feel secure and manly and about it. So in other words, you want your president to be body, body, and ridey, ridey? For sure. I mean, think about it. You got Kamala Harris going up against Kim Jong-un, rocket man. Trump got him locked down when he was president. You got Vladimir Putin. Um, yeah, they got more nukes than we have here in America. You got uh, Xi Jinping of China. You know, they still want Taiwan. All of these things that are coming up in the world. Do you really think they're going to respect Kamala Harris? We can barely get the respect of the people that are the voters. Barely get the respect of the people that work for her. All the people who left her while she was basically running her campaign and being vice president. Her staffers don't like her, don't want her. She's difficult to work with. I mean, you can kind of tell when you listen to a person speak. Are they annoying? Are they one of those people? Let's see what else they got to say. We brought up gender, right? Like, do you think yeah. it matters that she's a woman and people aren't comfortable having a woman in a top leadership role? No, I don't no. think that because most men, they, they love their mothers. They love their wives. So yeah. as a woman, most men, they respect the woman, but she just don't have the qualification or the education to really run America because she don't have the experience. Uh-oh, not the E-word experience. Now, you know what people are going to say. Oh, well, she was a DA and she was a prosecuting attorney and she was a vice president. She's got more experience than anybody. Experience in doing what? What are the results? We see people get these titles. We get these things. Like she got pushed on us from the very beginning. She didn't even win a primary. We're just supposed to accept stuff like this. What is her experience? What is the results from her experience? That's what I want to know. Put that in the comments. Not what you think she might do. What has she done? What has she actually accomplished? We can say, hey, look, I lowered the bills by this much. Or I increased revenue by this much. I did this. I did that. What did you do? Other than live off the government nipple. Let's see what else they got. She don't understand our struggles. Mm. And for me to believe you for another four years, you're crazy. Right. Like you're crazy. You're saying the same thing that you said four years ago. Again, so the fact crazy. that she's the vice president, that's to just you the is bottom line. Honest. You're like, you've been here. You've had a chance. Yes. Well, for me, the very first time I ever heard the name Kamala Harris, it was an association to locking up parents for mm -hmm. a truancy. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I, I ever heard of her name. Mm -hmm. And I, I really didn't understand how this person claims to be a black woman, but yet she's locking up black women and black men and separating families. This is the thing that is, Trump talks about this a lot. He says, you know, Kamala Harris became black right. when it was mm -hmm. convenient. Right. Yeah. Can you, can you talk to me about, do you feel, do you agree with him on that? Do you feel oh, like she's wearing her blackness? Absolutely. She sworn into the, when she sworn to the Senate, it was as the first Indian American. Thank you. Which is, it's fine. We don't care. Yeah. We all know she's not black. Let's understand that. We we are all clear of that. But well, my that, point of view, like I told you earlier, she's already been there. She's in office right now. She's in office right now. We want to see some results. We see none. All we see is open borders. We see pushing agendas uh, of the alphabet community. We see all these things that are actually not good. 
we see things that are going to what direction where do you really want us to go as america we want to have prosperity we want to have good businesses low taxes this lady has said multiple times she's going to raise taxes straight face i'm raising taxes i don't care if it's on the rich the poor the middle class or who it's on why are you raising taxes you don't manage the money you already getting and that's the mindset of a person who's been living off the government nipple for all these years so what do you think about this i want you to put your comments below give this video a thumbs up give it a like give it a share and uh also subscribe to this channel because i want to be putting out some more content reviewing some of this stuff coming up here in the next coming days so don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at chris monroe stl that's snapchat twitter instagram facebook youtube TikTok, all of them chris monroe stl easy to find no excuses i got more goodies coming your way like we squeezing some juices do what you do be who you be and i'll see you before you see me